the 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 the, the house yes. and uh, the business house never continued uh, as the MPs walked out in solidarity and uh, whatever they were calling and they were asking is the release and disbursement of uh, NGCDF funds to the constituencies. And uh, this is coming when we are also getting to holidays because they are getting to recess, a long recess, yes. uh, from Thursday till February. And, uh, and it is at that time then in January, uh, students are getting back to school. And it is this time when we are experiencing also some um, heavy tasks on and uh, heavy duties on the parents when it comes to clearance of school fees. I you know uh, this uh, NGCDF is very uh, critical and very important when it comes to uh, uh, funding of uh, schools uh, finances because these bursaries uh, has come to rescue some of the students who never get to get to school but uh, they have uh, enjoyed uh, this uh, disbursement of uh, bursaries to them. And I agree that the FADS is important for uh, social development uh, into the communities. And these MPs being the, uh, uh, the representative mandate of, yes. the, uh, of the citizens from every constituency, then they have the liberty to actually uh, walk out in the house and uh, ask the treasury to release these finances. But it is a question of whether the government or the treasury is willing to release or there is no money. That's what we don't know. Is it the government or the, the or is it the treasury, the, the cabinet secretary that is not releasing it or is it uh, that the uh, uh, budgeted uh, finance is not uh, enough for them to be dispersed or there is no money in the coffers? That's a question then you have to get uh, light from the treasury. Yes. Yeah. On that particular issue that I asked you about there, that it looks as if, should that document for NATCO essentially uh, go to a referendum? Yeah. Well, majority, <coughs> majority of members of parliament have spoken about that particular document. In fact, it, even the likes of Ndidi Nyoro, the Kiharu member of parliament, it, when you hear him say that it's a nonsense document, I do not think that majority of Kenyans now want to be, uh, again, trouble to go to long lines to vote for a document that's just creating positions. Yeah. But should it go out as a single document that Kenyans have decided on this and this and this and this referendum? It looks as if now the members of parliament are sort of tied. Whether you like it or not, you gotta support that document because it's gonna give you the power constitutionally yeah. to run this fund that is that is now you would say essentially got into headwinds with even the courts. Sure. Yes. Now uh, of course, uh, MPs, I know, uh, before this man, uh, finance is uh, reduced to them, they rubbish it because they are uh, angry and they are angry too. And uh, um, uh, they will rubbish it. But uh, entrenchment of NGCDF and um, uh, senators' oversight fund to the constitution, then uh, they will get themselves supporting it uh, unknowingly. Yes. And they will never be coerced <laughs> because there's something inside for them. Does it? Just like whatever, there's something inside for the president and there's something inside for the opposition. Does it? Then I don't know whether there is something inside for Wajiko and the hustler because but uh, the Wajiko and the hustlers, uh, they are fond of betraying their interests. So, and uh, uh, it's not a surprise that they will vote for it, even if there is something, uh, that it, even if there is nothing uh, for them in that document. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the, uh, the culture of uh, the citizens, unless they are uh, mentally uh, decolonized on that it is our interest first and then the interest of the uh, uh, public offices uh, second. Does it? Mwange, let me also get your views on that, that it was a uniform voice, regardless of the political divide yesterday. Basaha Okimani Chunga got a lot of heat from the Kenya Council members of parliament in the national to the point that he started saying, well, I don't work for the government or the treasury, I work for the people of Kikuyu, I'm just like you guys. I'm also demanding for it. That uniform voice, is it a telling fact of how these members of parliament are going to support that document in case we get into a referendum? 